Hello guys, and welcome to my addendum to the Bloom Shield counter video. So I was playing Free For All the other day, using a Bloom Shield and researching my next video, which is how to use a Bloom Shield effectively, when suddenly I heard a chainsaw revving, and then my character was flailing around and screaming like a chicken being sucked into a belt sander. And as I was watching this, I had a moment of clarity where I realized three things. First, I was dying. Second, I was holding a Bloom Shield. And third, this method of death was conspicuously absent from my previous video. So, I'm doing this quick video to patch that hole up. Hope you guys enjoy. So let's start with the chainsaw here. And the rule of thumb with the chainsaw is pretty easy. You just have to have your, your chainsaw on the edge of the shield. You see right here where it's right on the edge of the shield? And you get the saw. And then going the other way, um, same kind of thing. As long as, if you, as long as the shield's in front of you, you're gonna be foiled. But as soon as you put your gun on the edge, you get the chainsaw, so. Not hard to remember at all. And of course you can chainsaw from behind. That's pretty much a no-brainer. Before I leave the chainsaw, one funny thing I noticed is like, I just couldn't get over how melodrama melodramatic the emanations are. So Marcus raises his chainsaw way up in the air and then the Alex is like, oh no, I'm dead. I'll just fling my arms open and throw my soft breasts against the wearing teeth. Farewell world. It's sort of funny. Anyway, uh, on to the Retro Lancer. Okay, yeah, so <clears throat> I couldn't help it. Hopefully you guys appreciate Shakespeare. Um, but the Retro Lancer is a little bit different um, than the Lancer because even though you get past the edge of his shield, you bounce off for a lot of these angles until you get right on the kill angle, which is this one right here. And, you know, so just make sure you're a little bit wide if you're retro, retro charging a boom shielder. And of course be careful of them spinning a shotgun in the head. And you can see from the side, it's the same kind of angle as the Lancer. You just gotta get past behind the edge of that shield. And of course, you can retro Lancer to charge someone from behind. And so, I will leave you guys with a funny clip. And remember to check all the links at the end of the video. And learn more. I'll be back later with my how to use a boom shield properly. So, see you next time, guys.